For a small data set, it's easy to compute the mean by hand. But if we have a larger data set, let's say a frequency distribution, then calculating the mean by hand can be tiresome. And so I want to show you a shortcut way to calculate the mean of a frequency distribution. Okay, first we uh, calculate x times f for each data value x corresponding frequency f. We multiply the two together and write this down in a new column. And then we add up the frequency column and the, the product column x times f. And that gives us two summaries, sigma f and sigma xf. And then finally we divide the two, take the ratio sigma xf to sigma f and that is our mean. Okay, so let's see an example. A team interested in the um, ecosystem of a stream, let's say, measures the water temperature of the stream every day over a 30-day period. Okay, and so they want to find the mean. Okay, so the data set is given in this frequency distribution. Over a month's time, the uh, temperature varied from 52 degrees to 57 degrees. Frequency here represents the number of days that that corresponding temperature was measured. So for example, 54 degrees measured on three different days, 55 degrees on eight different days, and so on. So to calculate the mean, we could go 52 plus 52 plus 52 plus 52 plus 52 plus 53 plus 53, but that would get very tiresome. So using the shortcut method, what we do is we take each data value and the corresponding frequency value, multiply them together, and that gives us an XF value. So for the first row, we have 208. That's 4 times 52. And then the next one, 6 times 53, 318, and so on. We do that for each pair of data and frequency value. And then we find the total of our XF column. And that turns out to be 0.0. And then divide by the number uh, of days, which is 30 and we get our mean, which is 54.6 degrees.